and now they're on an eight-match losing streak. It has just been pitiful for them from pillar to post. And I do think on the road here, very difficult environment to play in with, the turf with, the humidity, 69 goals against on the season. A few days ago, he was not pleased with the start against Lou City midweek last week. He's hoping his team can jump on the visitors here today quickly. Could be a turnover, and it is. Rebus has some space. That went off the crossbar. Unsuspecting was Dorchin, and Rebus almost caught him off guard completely. First break, sort of with the strike. That one goes off the crossbar, too. Oh, the iron unkind early for Miami FC. Across your own 18-yard box, but you give the time and space for Joaquin Rivas. Patrick last time trying to get the opening goal here tonight. You know, second bite at the apple with Christian Sordo. And once again, same result. They hit it so pure, so clean. Got a couple goals now in the year. Here he is on service. Ooh, line drive. That one hits the iron unkind again. Three crossbars in this first half. What gives, Ricky? Ball to be expected. And it's Michael Salazar who just pops off his individual marker. Fantastic header glaring across his right shoulder. Schedule ahead of this. Do the hard part and now at home. Watch out here. Edwards. Paco Craig is there. Good hustle by Paco. He got taken out. That should result in a booking. And we see if it does. It looks like it. Edwards here in the 26th minute. Yes, you're getting on the ball a lot. So you're committing a lot more numbers forward. But you know Edwards and Sadie, they don't need a second invitation to play direct, to play in beyond. Miss time check. here and Buluak and Yodi looking around. Lewis Neal, colorful language I can't repeat. Done a fine job of at least keeping these guys afloat. As admitted to us, he hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot, just maybe the vocal messaging is McGuire comes out and makes a great stop against Edwards. Cover. You see the threat for Edwards, just so vertical, so direct with his willingness to run in behind. The bottle, the header, McGuire is there and says no. We force Miami FC for someone else to produce. You see it come over once again. Nice move by Salazar, looking to Rebus out wide. Rebus with some space. Joaquin pulls the trigger, but it goes right on goal to Dorchin. Seen in weeks past, Lewis, Danny Barrera. Danny, that shot ricochets out. The rebound attempt, Jake McGuire with two hands on the denial. Great start there for Jake McGuire. Play direct, and as this ball rotates over, it's Makangila, who I've been talking about defensively, hits it extremely clean. The technique on 100, even better save from Jake McGuire to remind me of, see, you can bring out Makangila with Michael Salazar being selfless in his positioning. You open up, pulls on into the interior, and just like this once again. Uh, sort of maybe thought about something else instead of pulling the shot from well outside. So when you're a center midfielder, single pivot, you're asked to do a lot of the Birmingham and Memphis are scoreless. Birmingham's the other team with 41 points in the Eastern Conference. Sordo giving chase. Christian trying to press. Nice play. Paco stepping up. Stanley looking at three players on the right hand side. Picture perfect. It's 1 0 thanks to Florian Below. Boot to boot, Stanley to Velo in the 65th minute. Miami FC won, hard for nothing. As a center back, you stay tuned in. You play the first pass forward and Aiden Stanley, we've seen it throughout his whole season. The ability to pick out a pass, especially from a deep lying position, but you have to give credit to Floyd Velo. Tom Murphy makes that near post run, he pulls out McGlynn, so it's all about Floyd Velo getting across. Have been in every single match. Below, Bolu trying to chase, 
So he got taken out. Let's see if Pereira gets a yellow card here. He's a little hot, and he got one. 69th minute, about here. I'll tell you what, look at Danny Barry's left leg, the way that he exposed his studs over the top of Bullock and Yodi. I'd argue that could that he could easily be a different color there. McGlynn from well outside, Cabral got in front of it, pinballed around. Ooh, again, McGlynn trying to get to that ball first, and now we got back-to-back -back yellow cards. First one on Barrera, this one on Connor in the 71st minute. Sadie looking to do some damage. Prince on the delivery. That one glances off the crossbar. Prince CD. Tries to catch Jake McGuire cheating. Hits it so pure. A lot of whip. He hasn't beat, to be fair. That's a lot of work to go, though. Murphy wanted it. Dude did not get it. A little hot about that. From well outside, that one finds the back of the net. Joaquin Rivas pulled the trigger and made no mistake about it in the 78th minute. And why not take a bow, Joaquin? Miami up 2 0. Look at the space between the lines. And look at Makangila stay like for like with Kyle Murphy. And as he makes that run, he pulls out Makangila. And it's just a domino effect. Christian Sordo makes that advanced run. Joaquin Rivas says, I see you, I don't need you. Especially with that left foot. Three goals away at Hartford, one goal here at home. Four goals on the trot against his Hartford athletic side. Joaquin Rivas all smiles. Fantastic strike from distance. To be expected from a player with that quality, low and hard. And there was pockets in the first half and Miami FC didn't give up on the action. Stanley here. Stanley, who played it through nicely. Cabral is there. Open lane, that shot is air mailed. That would have certainly sealed the deal. Ryan Telfer would love to have that one back. Great little pick out here for me. Sadie here. Prince pulls the trigger. Ooh, he was labeling that top left hand corner. It did not miss by much against Birmingham. And this thing is now a wrap. So Miami FC, they do exactly what they do here tonight by taking care of business and beating the team that they needed to beat. They have won three straight. They've captured nine straight points.